Hi class. How are you? Fine, good. So let's let's learn about system thinking again. This is the second class. Today is a kind of introduction of system thinking. Let's review a little bit about the last class. At the end of the last class, okay, we learn about 70 goals, sustainable development. From 1972 to until now, for about 50 years, so we unfortunately we could not improve effectively these goals. But when we think about individually, silently, maybe you have one question: Why? For 50 years, we improved medical services, we advanced technology, we have economic growth, but why? So this is an important question. Let's think about this. System thinking. Before deal with SDG 70 goals, this is a little bit complicated. Maybe you feel some helpless. So that's why let's start with a simple example. Simple cause and effect relationship. So one day okay, in your organization, in your office, so you found one mistake. And then why? And you try to find the cause. Then most of you are thinking about who did it. Then you will find ah person A, A son in Japanese <laughs> did this mistake. So that's why you go to the A son's desk. Then maybe you ask him or her to correct. This is a simple cause and effect. But next day, you found same mistake, and you found this time a person B, B son. And two days later, you find same mistake again by a person C, C son. In that case, you should be thinking about again why? If that mistake caused by person A, in that case, it will not happen later by the B, Mr. B, <laughs> or Mrs. C. But it repeatedly we found this problem. Let's get why. Maybe we have different codes, the root cause. Probably maybe we have the problem of organizations. Organization has some kind of problematic structure or they don't have sufficient guidelines or rules. So, like this, finding root cause, digging a little bit deeper. Don't see on just the surface, this is the iceberg. Usually, we try to find the problem here with your eyes. But sometimes, if you cannot solve the problem, we have to think about this part. This part is invisible. In that case, you cannot use your eyesight you need insight. To gain insight, system thinking will be helpful. So that's why let's continue learning with me. Okay, so now let's go back to SDGs. Again, for 50 years, 5-0, we have not solved these critical problems. That case. Now let's ask why again. Maybe our approach, like blaming some particular person, is not effective. We have to look at under the sea. We have to use insight. We have to find root causes. All right. Let me share with you one story regarding SDGs. Have you ever heard of elephant and Blind man story. This is a Sufi story, old, very, very old Indian story. Okay. One day, a king of the one country in India. So India has a very big country. You know, there are there were various countries on the Indian, let's say, continent. He brought one new animal to his country. The citizens in this country, unfortunately, they are blind. They cannot see. Then they start to check what 
it is carefully analyze carefully then this gentleman touching this part oh he analyzed carefully and then oh maybe it will be snake this gentleman touch touch you then oh this will be rock and this person touch the horn then uh, this will be kind of needle like this trunk wall rope when you look at their analysis each one of them their analysis are correct but when they gather their analysis you can they cannot understand this is elephant so again when you go back SDGs until now we try to solve each problem we analyzed each problem one one by one and then try to solve try to solve them but separately then we could not have improvement this is a similar situation SDG and elephant that's why we have to see the whole and interrelationship of each part of elephant and SDG in this situation system thinking will be very beneficial so that's why let's continue learning with me thank you for watching and see you next time